Hey everybody, welcome to May 1st. This is May Day. And vlog. Can you believe that it's May 1st? Wow. May is my birthday month, and since I'm a man, I don't get the entire month. Uh, you know, oh, it's, I like to say it sometimes, but still, I get, I get the whole, it's my birthday month, it's my birthday week. Got ten days left to my birthday, ten shopping days left, what are you gonna get me? Go to Amazon.com for my Matthew Rappaport wish list and get me something special. I don't even know what kind of accent I'm doing right now. And May Day is trending. A lot of trending, interesting, interesting type of things. Uh, two's Decay. Is this like two Decay? That's trending too. And I'm scared to even look at what that is. Webby Awards. Louis C.K. Congratulations, buddy. You're a funny dude. Very funny. Uh, especially like the video or the, the segment in your show where that young girl smells you and says old people smell weird. And then she, you know, has sex with you to have sex with you because you're old. And you're only like 42. She's 26, so to me, 42 is not old. To a 26-year-old, maybe I'm somewhere in between there. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like, what? I thought you were like 20, maybe. 19. I learned that. Yeah, it's moving a lot faster than than Pauly Tent would like, but hey. So there's a guy named Byron Ripple, and he's a zombie guy. He sent me that, you know, arr, he drew me as the first zombie on G+, and created this whole zombie culture. Ah, uh, hi hey everybody, I'm a zombie, and I am Rappaport, and there's a fungus among us. And then, so, he shaved his beard, he had like an epic beard on his show, and he sent me his facial hair, and it's, it looks like drugs, but it's actually just facial beard in a bag, which is kind of... Probably not sound sorry, uh gross. You know, that's the way I roll. Jessica Simpson's a mommy. <gasps> so get her something for Mother's Day. Cause she's a mom, you know, chicken of the sea and all that stuff. Maxwell Drew Johnson. Congratulations to Jessica and Mr. Johnson. Hey. Mr. Johnson, you've got a son. Uh, so soccer and football, they trend. Do you call it soccer? Do you call it football? And uh, do you care? About it. I mean, go! It's the best part of that whole thing, really. And a lot of times it's zero zero, and that's shit. You know, is what I think. Uh, what else is trending? There is a uh, interesting trends on Twitter that come up from time to time. This one called stereotypes of our generation. Here's some good ones. Uh, stereotypes of our generation. Losing your phone is more dramatic than losing your virginity. That's true. If I ever lost my baby, what would I do without it? Number two, stereotypes of our generation. You're British. You must love tea and be best friends with the Queen and have a really posh accent. And also the last one, stereotypes of our generation. I'm talking about my the relationship is not official until it's Facebook official in a relationship with you. Don't worry, I, I, I made it. It's complicated, so you don't have to worry about, about proving it or any of that jazz. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And last but not least, you think I drink a lot of tea, a lot of coffee, and I need to stare at my notes. But honestly, uh, how much tea and coffee do you drink? I need at least two cups or so, maybe five cups. And all this hogwash about, oh, you can't drink coffee before bed, I'll never sleep. I can on occasion, but, you know, if you're tired, you're tired. Coffee ain't gonna do much for you. Um, and also, a good friend of mine, who you'll see Thursday, Jane Ellen, she gave me the closing line today. Four minutes, 22 seconds in. You had me at edit. You had me. You had me. I'm looking for my mouse, so you're like, what? Don't you ever let this burn out?